Hey guys, welcome to your 15th iFactner.com computer networking tutorial. And today we are discussing about star topology. So guys, if I ask you what is a star topology, your answer would be, Hey iFactner, star topology is a topology which is based on a star. It forms a physical star. And uh, I would say that your answer is right. A star topology is a topology which is laid out uh, uh, in a form of a star. And uh, in the star topology, usually there is a central connecting device, central communication device, and all the computers, your laptop, your desktop, uh, your server and uh, your another laptop and uh, another desktop they are all connected to that central device and uh, they form a physical star so that is why it is called a star topology so that central communication device can be a hub, which is a dumb device, a switch, a router, and so on. So this is a dumb device and this is a genius device like me. This is an intelligent device like us. So friends, How does a hub work? So, uh, in, in the simplest form, let us suppose we have got uh, five PCs. So, there, 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 there can be a lot of other PCs. But let's suppose that these PCs are connected to a hub. Why do we call hub a dumb device? Because if PC number one would like to send a message to PC number two, then that message would go to a hub and the hub would send that message to PC number two, to PC number three, to PC number four. The copy of the message is being sent to all the devices and even in some cases it would send the sending device its own message. So that's why it is called a dumb device because it just replicates the message, message and uh, copies the message and send it to all the connected devices in the network. And uh, in place of hub nowadays we either use a switch or a router. So let's take an example of a router. So when we have got uh, devices connected to a router then if PC number one would like to send message to PC number two then the router would only send that message to PC number two and would ignore the message would not send the same message to all other nodes in the network and uh, Nowadays, we usually use uh, star networks in our homes. For example, we have got an internet connection and we have got usually uh, got a triple play router and that router is connected to our desktop. So we can share internet connection and we that router is also connected or our laptop is connected to our router and we can share uh, that uh, internet connection and we can communicate with our desktop and let's suppose that connection is also share is also connect uh, we, our uh, is also connected to our tablet or iPad and that can also communicate with the other devices on the network and the, the this is the most uh, a common type of a topology that is being used in our 
homes. So in our homes, we use the star topology. And in bigger offices, we use a starburst topology. So what is a starburst topology? It's the combination of a star and a burst topology. So let's suppose we have got a, a router or a switch and with it, we have got six, seven, eight, nine, ten devices attached to it. And we have got a, 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 an other a small router or a switch. And with it, uh, we have got few devices attached. Now, we can attach both of these routers to form a bigger network using the bus type structure, using the backbone. And that's why it is called the star bus topology because smaller networks or smaller parts are using the star topology and to connect the central communication devices we use the backbone which is the part of the bus topology and that is how we use star bus topologies. So what are the advantages of a star topology? So uh, the advantage is that it is very simple to set up. We usually need the central communication device and plus some wires and uh, that's how we can set up our star network or a star topology. And uh, usually if we would like to upgrade our system, our network, then we can just uh, uh, put uh, a bigger device central communicating communication device for example we had a hub and we just upgraded it to the router uh, uh, with 20 ports and plus 40 wireless ports or infinite wireless wireless ports then this is how easily we can upgrade our system and uh, what are the disadvantages of the star network is that it has the single point of failure that is if our central communication device that is a hub or a switch or a router does not work or it fails then a whole, a whole of our network is down so we have a single point of failure in this case and uh, uh, but if one of our devices is not working or we just switch it off because it's our company laptop and we just take it back to our uh, office then it will not affect the communication of the other devices attached to the communication device so that is one of the advantages of star network and that is why we are using star topology nowadays Next, we would be discussing about mesh topology. So, see you guys in the next tutorial. Take care. Bye.